surviving in a world full of unknown dangers is never guaranteed. Being big and strong helps, but what do you do when you are neither? These two juvenile allosaurs, siblings of one another, haven't seen their parents in days. They never returned back to the nest after going out to hunt. After days of not eating, the siblings are forced to go out into the world. This could be their death sentence. All they know is this cave and the safety that it provides. For weeks, their parents guarded this place and made sure the siblings were safe. They haven't learned anything about life yet. Fear takes over. The female runs back, hesitant to step outside of the one place she's ever known. Her brother circles back for her. They can't both be afraid. For the first time ever, the siblings venture out of their home. Crouched and terrified, they place their first steps on unfamiliar grounds. And as the female runs off, her brother stops to look at their safe haven one last time. The two allosaurs are far too young to move out of the den, let alone without the protection of their parents. Oblivious to what awaits them, they run off into the dense fog. Pressured by life itself, they are forced to grow up sooner than ever. A few hours later, the sun is beginning to rise over new lands, shining its rays of warmth and light over the siblings for the very first time. A slight feeling of comfort as they blindly move forward. Everything is new, everything is strange, and everything could be potential danger. Rule number one, stay silent and trust no one. What is that? They both must have thought. The siblings have no idea where to go from now. Instinct tells them to follow the big creature in the distance. Perhaps it will lead them to food and water. They just don't have a choice. For them, this new world feels like a maze without an end. The last of the foliage slowly begins to disappear. No more hiding for them. Soft forest soil makes way for a rough pathway. It seems like more creatures use this passage to migrate in and out of new zones. Forced to fend for themselves, the siblings are pushed further and further away from their trusted birthplace. Worn down and dehydrated, they finally found water. 
but inexperienced as they are, the siblings don't know that water sources equal more visitors. Startled by footsteps, the two huddle together and walk along in hopes of catching a glimpse. They are afraid, but curious too. Perhaps it is their parents. A Tyrannosaurus Rex, and he's not happy with their presence. Blinded by panic, the siblings run off into the nearby forest. They have never seen such a giant and didn't know he formed a threat. After a bit of running, they reach the top of a hill that overlooks the hot springs. Lesson number two, never let your guard down and stay alert of your surroundings. The evening paints the valley in a million golden colours. In these final moments of daylight, the siblings run uphill in hopes of finding a good resting spot. Enough for today. A big rock on the top of the hill gives them a bit of cover. They have zero stamina left. After spending their first weeks in the safety of their birthplace, a day like this is way too much to process. Maybe sleep will help. Snuggled up against each other, they close their eyes and fall into a deep slumber. It is the next day. Well rested and in higher spirits than yesterday, the two playfully run over new lands. As the sun warms their skin, both allosaurs seem to have replaced the fear of the unknown with excitement. A den. This must have been the home of another family. As you can imagine, this spot immediately gives the siblings a feeling of comfort and safety. Again, the female is a little more hesitant to dive right in. Her brother, however, has already seen the whole den from the inside out. A nap? Sleeping? Absolutely not. These two are way too excited to explore the new world. After a quick inspection, they go back out. Food is on their minds. But where to get it? Maybe in here? Do I just disturb this burrow? It smells like something I'd like to taste. The female was right. And she caught it her first kill. Her brother, however, seems to be upset that he didn't figure it out before her. Very quickly, he realizes that he made a big mistake. She might be smaller, but when it comes to food, you stay far away. Well, all right then, I'll share some with you, she must have thought. Fighting siblings, a timeless occurrence. With his ego being slightly bruised, her brother accepts her peace offerings. Months have passed. 
the little siblings aren't as little anymore. Thriving and close to sub-adult, the aloes are way more capable of taking down bigger prey. And they have found their next target. A young Therizinosaurus. Driven by bloodlust, the two start the chase. Water doesn't hold them back. With the brother in the lead, they chase down the Therizino. But don't be fooled. This herbivore has razor-sharp claws and will stand as a worthy opponent. After a short, coordinated fight, the aloes claim their price. Months and months ago, these two ran out of their safe haven and into the open world. Now they face life head-on, together. It is spring, the next year. The smell of blooming flowers and fresh grass welcomes them into the Grand Plains. A curious Hatsogopteryx flies over. The male seems almost unrecognizable as he flaunts his new adult appearance. Like a peacock, vibrant colors and patterns have taken over. The siblings haven't encountered any serious danger yet. They almost act careless. A new sound alerts them. It came from the water. Unsure of the situation, they back off from the river's edge. The aloe's ego and pride of thinking they are the biggest around will soon stand corrected. The Spinosaurus, an absolute giant able to navigate on land and in the water, and apparently he is not the only one around. Another pair emerged from the river. It seems like they are chasing off the blue male. Our cocky allosaurs aren't so cocky anymore. Completely overruled, they quickly move out of the way. They have seen enough of this place. Time to go. Later that evening, far away from the bigger beasts that roam these lands, the siblings seem to be on edge. Something is moving closer. A lone Alberta ceratops. Small tanks with sharp horns. This herbivore is dangerous and will stand its ground. But make no mistake, the adult siblings know how to deal with prey like this. This is not their first rodeo.
with yet another successful hunt, the siblings seem to be on top of the world. Standing powerful and resilient together, it seems like there is nothing that can dethrone them. Can anything even come close? Rain has arrived. Even in the desert, it pours down from the heavens. And through the veil of rain, they are being watched. Another Allosaur, an elder male. This is the first time that the siblings encounter another of their kind. The brother shields off his sister. The intimidating stranger instantly pushes back the siblings. They immediately submit to his overpowering presence. But something changed in the behavior of this elder male. It is their father. After all this time, in the most remote of places, the siblings come face to face with one of their long lost parents. The mutual calls bond them and signal others around that a new pack has been formed. Life will gift you what you are seeking when you stop looking for it. Father and son walk side by side. Life has taught the siblings hardships, victory, curiosity and perseverance. But what they want most of all is to learn from the one that was there when they first opened their eyes. A bright future awaits them as the siblings now move forward as a pack for the very first time ever. Protected by their father once more, They will claim these lands. Let the hunting begin. <laughs>